Throughout the 20th century, communities all across the UP celebrated their centennials. The biggest, by far, occurred in 1949 when the city of Marquette marked its 100th anniversary. Jack Dio has collected images, both still pictures and movie footage, from the celebration. And then in my collecting days, a woman who had a studio in Marquette called the Tiffany Studio uh, was right across from City Hall, the old City Hall, and she shot everything to do with, it was Mrs. Brown, she shot all kinds of centennial photographs, and of course a lot of them were of the beard contest. Marquette's centennial celebration was so big, in fact, that the Warner Pathé newsreel sent a crew to get footage that would be shown in movie theaters all across the country. Today, the county seat of Michigan's largest county, Marquette, when Mrs. Smith, the centennial queen, was born, was only a village of 1,600 people. She's seen its population grow tenfold, matched by the growth of labor and industry, all now represented in the parade. One of the common events in all of the centennials, including Marquette's, was a beard contest. Jack says that's something he actually got to experience firsthand. I was shooting old-time portraits right off the bat when I opened my studio. And in the 1980s, a lot of towns were turning 100 years old, so I was invited to a centennial in Crystal Falls. And that was the first I've ever seen of a beard contest, because every man had a beard in town. Uh, there was a little cart that went around town, and if you didn't have a beard, you rode in a little mobile jail to the uh, you know, disgrace of everybody to see you, that you didn't participate in the beard contest. The 1949 beard contest in Marquette was one of the focal points of the centennial celebration. Uh, yeah, there was a lot of men involved. Uh, it was funny because some of them cheated and had kind of fake beards. And in the movie, you actually see them pulling stuff out of a beard. And in another one, the, the judge is tonguing on his beard, and the announcer goes, it's real. And according to Jack, the story of the Centennial Beard Contest gets very interesting once you find out who actually won it. But the winner, who took three months to grow this dandy, as they say in the movie, was a man named Mike Chenoweth. And he later became the famous Mike Chenoweth. Uh, and of course, the anatomy of a murder is all based on his, his murder up in Big Bay. But uh, he had a beautiful beard. And at the end, he gives the judge, who was a woman, a big kiss on the lips. And looks right at the camera with a little smirk on his face. That's right, this wasn't the only time Mike Chenoweth, winner of the Marquette Centennial Beard Contest, was in the news. Several years later, he would return to the headlines when he was shot and killed by the jealous husband of a woman, the crime that would go on to inspire the book and the movie, Anatomy of a Murder.